हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु कांडपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट एम एस कॉलेज फॉर वीमेन बीकानेर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लिटरी टर्म बैलेट द बैलेट इज अ टेल इन वर्स ओरिजिनली इंटेंडेड टू बी संग टू एन ऑडियंस अ बैलेट इज अ फोक सॉन्ग और orally transmitted poem telling in a direct and dramatic manner some popular story usually derived from a tragic incident in local history or legend it is usually based on events such as a family disaster an exciting adventure a love encounter fierce battle and so on so in ballad the story is told simply impersonally and often with vivid dialogue if we have a very simple if we have a look at the simple definition of the popular ballad or it is known by other names also folk ballad or traditional ballad is that it is a song transmitted orally which tells a story remember that it is a song transmitted orally which tells a story the tale is usually fierce and tragic and frequently introduces the supernatural we can find supernatural agents in the tale that is narrated orally to the audience the tale opens abruptly without any attempt at systematic introduction often the same lines are repeated from stanza to stanza as a refrain and stock phrases or conventional epithets are freely used the story is told in a simple impersonal manner and it is usually has vivid dialogues the popular ballad is according to mh brahms the popular ballad is dramatic condensed and impersonal the narrator begins the ballad with the climactic episode tells the story tersely by means of action and dialogue sometimes by means of the dialogue alone and tells it without self reference or the expression of personal attitude or feelings ballads are often usually composed in ballad measure quatrains in which the first and third lines are four foot iambic and the second and fourth three foot iambic with the second and fourth lines rhyming so ballads are normally composed in quatrain quatrain is an alternate four and three stress iambic lines iambic is following the pattern of unstress followed by stress usually alternating four stress and three stress lines the second and fourth fourth lines rhyming but some ballads are in couplet form and some others have six line stanzas so the most common stanza form it is also called as the ballad stanza is a quatrain in alternate four and three stress iambic line in which only the second and fourth lines rhyme appearing in many parts of europe in the late middle ages ballads flourished particularly strongly in scotland from the 15th century onwards the collecting and printing of popular ballads it began in england then in germany it was around during 18th century uh, 
around 1765 one of the famous writer tom thomas percy published his relics of ancient english poetry which although most of the contents has been rewritten in the style of that time it inaugurated with the widespread interest in the folk literature now the people when in 1765 percy's relics were published they aroused an interest of the people the public or the audience in folk literature uh, there are some of the basic modern collections also like francis j childs english and scottish popular ballads which includes 305 ballads burton h ronson also wrote the traditional tunes of the child ballads the traditional ballad has an immense influence on the form and style of lyric poetry in journal in addition to it uh, we are going to talk about literary ballad which is a narrative poem written in deliberate imitation of the form language and spirit of the traditional ballad since the 18th century educated poets outside the folk song tradition notably samuel taylor coleridge and gothe have written imitations of the popular ballad form and style coleridge's the rhyme of the ancient mariner which was published in 1798 is a famous example of a ballad the art of a torudats poetry collection ancient ballads and legends of hindustan includes many exquisite ballads based on indian themes the art of composing ballads is called balladry that is b a d l l a d r y uh as we have talked about the literary ballads uh in germany some major literary ballads were written in late later 18th century which includes burgers g a burgers very popular lenore which was published in 1774 and it became widely popular and read in as influential in english translation and gotte's work in england some of the greatest literary ballads were composed in the romantic period as i have earlier talked about samuel taylor coleridge rhyme of the ancient mariner uh, walter scott's proud mazy and john keats's la belle dame sings mercy uh, william wordsworth also wrote the lyrical ballads of 1798 which began with we are seven by introducing a narrator as an agent and first person teller of the story i met a little cottage girl which is probably one reason he called collection lyrical ballads this is all about the ballad Thank you.